Sigma male is a man who chooses to live outside of society's traditional social dominance system, and this thing is sometimes said. Sigma guys share many of the same characteristics as alpha males, but they like to march to the beat of their own drum and don't frequently follow instructions or comply to social classifications or systems. They are simply better when they are alone. The guys who ride off into the sunset on their horses with little more than the pack on their backs are known as Sigma males. They are sad because of their big capacity to do single with their R capabilities. They don't require the same things from society as other males. They are frequently self-employed, wandering nomads who value adventure and knowledge over material possessions. Sigma males are often the ones who step outside their comfort zones, create amazing things, start businesses, are quiet and confidence partners, and hard workers. While some people may think that Sigma males retreat from society because they are lazy or don't want to work, is because when they are single can do to their because but at the same time they are sad about their traits. The traits I will present it to you today are making him sad and lonely. He's a leader who goes unnoticed. When you think of a traditional leader, what comes to mind? Someone who is always on the front lines, surrounded by officials or subordinates. Someone who is always on the highest floor, making executive decisions. An alpha male that speaks loudly, always appears large and powerful, and doesn't appear to be someone you'd want to mess with. Sigma males, on the other hand, are just as capable of leading as alpha males, but with a different style. By their own with no other people around him. On your team, you should always have a sigma man. You get an alpha male's confidence and leadership without the drawbacks of someone with a strong and fragile ego who requires regular confirmation. A sigma male will never give up, no matter how difficult or inconvenient the situation may be. Instead, he will persevere until he finds a solution even if will make him depressed and exhausted. They're the types who aren't scared to do what needs to be done, even if it's unbecoming of a leader. Because the goal, not their image, is their top priority even sadness will appear because at the end of the day he will be single. He treats everyone around him the same way. So much of our daily life is built off social hierarchies, and it's something that we're first exposed to as early as school. Most of us end up knowing who the popular kids are, how you should act around them, and those habits, behaviors, and social structures follow us all the way to adulthood. Sigma males can't stand these invisible and meaningless power dynamics built off nothing but unearned social status. They totally reject the notion that you need to treat one person one way and another person another way. Simply because there are some invisible rules dictating what kind of person he or she may be. So unlike most of us, a Sigma male is programmed to treat everyone around them the same way even as their mom, brother or their girlfriend. And when you lack emotions you'll have an empty heart. He's morally gray, or worse. Sigma males can be enthusiastic supporters of what they believe is right or wrong, or skeptical and disillusioned. In either case, their power makes them a force to be reckoned with in terms of the established order. The majority of Sigma males end up in the emotionally complex zone. They are generally reflective and intelligent enough to see that many aspects of the system are incomprehensible. And as a result, they do not demand the true respect that society accords them so this thing creates some kind of sadness in them. They are loners. Sigmas are introverted men who do not like to mingle with people and form bonds with many. Most people tend to think that they are lonely, but Sigmas do not feel the same way. They are commitment phobic. Most Sigma men stay away from a full-fledged relationship because they do not want to commit. Committing to someone comes with responsibilities and being a part of a group of friends and family. This goes against the introverted and loner mentality of the Sigma. Sigmas may also come across as emotionally unavailable. It's hard to understand him. The Sigma male personality may be one of the hardest personality types to understand, because he is neither beta nor alpha but unique in his own way. It's difficult to characterize his choices and his behavior because they don't really fit in our binary understanding of what it means to be dominant with a big sadness inside or submissive. If you're dating a Sigma male, one of the most difficult things about dating him is that he's not very vocal because the tots are flying in his head. His knack for problem solving tends to come first, which may not always be what you need emotionally. Combine this with their disinterest in playing by traditional societal expectations. Sigma males can come across as robotic, unfeeling partners, and him and their partner will have sad parts into their relationship. This could not be farther from the truth. Sigma males are among the best partners out there precisely because they're highly self-aware. They may not always communicate what they're thinking or planning because they live in their own heads. But that doesn't mean he doesn't take you into consideration. Sigma males are primarily solution-driven. They want to keep moving forward and help those he cares about become the best version of themselves even sometimes their emotions can appear in their day-by-day -day life. This fascination for efficiency can come across a little unempathetic at times, but it's his way of showing you he cares. Their self-sufficiency, aloofness and ability to forge their own opinions and path in life mean that many women like them. A Sigma male makes a reliable partner who is adventurous and not afraid of the world's disdain. 
Yet sigma males won't stay alone forever. After some time out of society, a time of self-searching and growth, they often come to find a cause. Because of the time they've spent thinking, when they do act, it is with more thought, and the cause is less selfish. The sigma male then works to keep his independence and sadness inside while doing good.